Hey guys, welcome back. This is a video I said I was going to upload in tandem with the directory printout video, which was on a patch file that didn't do a whole lot, but um, eh, at least it at least it gave me inspiration for this batch file, which actually has some functionality. So it should show you what inspired me to make this batch file before I dive into uh, the actual contents of it. So I was roaming around on the League of Legends player support forums, and I ran into this post on obtaining a trace route. Now I noticed the way they did it. <laughs> was a, a little interesting for a big company like Riot. They have you Windows R, type in CMD, and then they have you run a trace route to whatever server, I'm just going to use this. And they have you print it out to a file on your desktop. Now I figured, why not just have a patch file that does all that? So I mean, I can show you real quick what they would do. Just do this, tracert.log, and that should print out to tracert.log on the desktop, right? And as soon as I say, oh, it's not going to, my bad, because uh, I'm in the wrong directory. That's going to print out to my uh, particular user file. I'm just going to see if I can terminate this file and not look like an idiot. There we go. Um, here we go, do directory listing then. And where is it? There it is, tracer t-log. See it under saved games? Right, i <laughs> show you with my mouse cursor. Yeah, right here. I imagine if you look that up, tracer t.log, let's see if it'll open. Yep, there it is. So it only did six hops because I killed it, but uh, that's what they have you do, essentially. I'm just going to delete that because I don't want that sitting around. All right. So I figured, why not make a batch file that does that, right? Because a big company like Riot probably shouldn't have you just typing into a command prompt to get your trace route. So I went ahead and wrote a program for it. So my program's all fancy. I went I went all out on this one. I changed the colors and I gave it a title. So it says, what server would you like to use for the tracer utility? So um I'm on North America, so I'll use NA. You chose one. Please wait while the utility prints both logs. Now this is a lengthy process, so while it prints these logs, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you the actual specifics of the file. Because it's running a full out trace route, which uh give you an idea. It's going to do that. And this is going to take a while, because it's going to do 30 of these hops. So let's go ahead and take a look at the, the uh, specifics of the file, as I trip over that word again. Alright, so you can see, I turn Echo off, I give it a title, change the color, clear the screen, here's the Echo screen you saw, and I used that same choice function that I used last time. Now, um, I think I could have made, I think it could have been a little simpler with this, like I had a go-to end here, I could have just said, else, go to Tracer T, Oz, or Oceana rather, I almost said Ocelot, and uh, cut this entire line out. But uh, I didn't. Whatever. Small things you can do. So, um, it goes through these labels, and then it goes to the actual beef. Now, the beef is very simple. I used the IPs provided on this post, and I just wrote my own trace route, and then I printed the file to the desktop using the user profile variable. Now for the longest time I have used the home drive variable, no, the home path variable which is users and then username. And that's alright because you can just do um, something like that and you can navigate to the desktop that way. However, I'm just gonna go to some other place. It's much easier to just use the user profile variable which I didn't know about. Because that auto navigates through, but you don't have to put C in front of it. So rather than going C home path desktop and maybe messing up with a, a slash or a colon or something, you can do CD. See if I can do it on the first try. <laughs> desktop. And um, you'll go straight to the desktop. So the user profile variable is a lot better than home path, and I'll be using it from now on. Because I don't have to worry about the home drive. The home drive is specified in user profile. If your home drive was like G for some reason, then it will work out on user profile. So that's a small thing that I learned from this, but anyways, I just used their IPs that they dropped in here, and I wrote the program. It's very simple, it works for, uh, it should work for every server. <laughs> I haven't tested it for every server in death because it would take me like half an hour, but I, I can't imagine why it wouldn't work. I went through and I tested each one really quick to make sure it didn't bug out. I actually had a problem with the very last line bugging out because I made two mistakes. 
The first one is I had one equal sign right there instead of two, and the other mistake was I didn't close off my parentheses on this same one. So uh, it's always good to check for that stuff. Anyways, this program is going to run for like three minutes more because it hasn't even finished the first log yet. And the reason it takes so long, if you look at the log files, because all these hops at the end don't do anything and they take forever. Anyways. I don't know what that uh I don't know what else to do. I'm I have to pause this and let the tracer finish up, that's kinda of boring. But I don't really have anything thing else to say about it. The link for it's going to be in the uh, description. There'll be a Dropbox link if you want to download this and use it for a trace route for whatever reason. It should work just fine. I use the IPs that Riot provided on their post, which I think is like three years old now. Let's see, December 1st, 2011, so two years and some change. But they, they were all valid, so I don't really care. So let's go ahead and pause this and let this second trace route here finish up and show you the end screen for it. All right, the file finished up, so it'll tell you both logs are complete, and then press any key to continue when it closes out the utility. Um, it prints out these two files, which are .log files. I looked it up while that was running, and .logs are completely the same as .txt files. That's all I really had to say about this uh, batch file. Once again, it'll be in the description for you to download. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. If you have anything to say, please drop a line in the comments, and uh, have a nice day.